are smart enough, you will know who I am. But you are really not smart enough to know who I am. But soon you're gonna know who I am. Very easy. Wow, very easy. <laughs> the, the entitlement, the entitlement. Uh, no, believe me, I'm much better than that. The entitlement, guys. Wow. We'll see you soon, soon. There you have it, folks. Did you hear the gall? The, the Just the entitlement in the voice? I mean, it's bad enough we have to deal with, you know, illegal aliens invading our country in our own hemisphere. Now we got to worry about people from the Middle East. Uh, and, and they just look at us with such discontent as if they are just... It's meant... This land is just theirs. It's just, you know... Just push out everybody else and make us feel as if we're not welcome in our own home because we're not opening up our arms and just embracing you with every turn of every second of every day just to allow you to take what we have. And it's not just that. We also have, you know, Asian and Chinese illegal aliens invading our country as well from the southern border. And if you don't believe me, Real American Voice Media Outlet has all the data on that. So let's check that out. In 2023, China had 24,048 illegal Chinese nationals that crossed into the United States. The majority of those are single male adults. Yeah. But... That's not even the worst part. The worst part is fiscal year 2024. We are off to a worse start. We already have 9,444 Chinese nationals that have crossed the southern border illegally in between the ports of entry. And 8,057 of those are single adults. So we are on a trajectory of going 7,000% in 7,000% increase in Chinese nationals mm. the last two years. So That's absurd. Nearly 30,000 people last year, you know, from China illegally crossing and invading our southern border. And already nearly 10,000 this month alone. That's just what we know of. That's not what actually crossed. That's what we know of for, for sure, you know. I'm, and you're not supposed to be worried. If you're worried, you're a bigot. You're, you're, you're the R word. You're all these bad things when it's really not anything about race. It's really about just the principle of a foreign individual from another country coming into your country without you knowing about it. it, it at any other point in time in history, it, in any other country, you would say to yourself, you're sneaking into our country to invade us and harm us in some way, shape, or form. I mean, you think about it. People in our government have to know about it. So I wonder what the the director of Homeland Security has to say about this. So the the situation at the border you're saying is not a disaster that is correct nope 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 there's got to be a fluke that's got to be a fluke that he, he doesn't actually believe that or he says he misspoke somebody at the white house somebody somebody high up you know uh, chief of staff or, or or somebody maybe the vice president maybe the vice president understands everything uh we're here in texas I want to ask you about the border would you call the border secure I think that there is no question that we have to do what the president and I asked Congress to do is the first request we make, pass a bill to create a pathway to citizenship. The border is secure. We're going to have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. Come on, you better be careful. Your pants are about to catch on fire because I'll tell you the truth. Old Joe Byron, the president of the United States, doesn't agree with you. He feels a little bit different about our border now, doesn't he? You said that the border is secure. No, it's not. I have to leave it for the last 10 years. You know what, Joe? I actually believe you. I actually believe you said it for the last 10 years. Hell, I believe you've said it even longer in the last 10 years. But there's a little bit difference between saying it and actually doing something to remedy the problem. Maybe you're just perpetuating the problem. Either way, I actually do believe you. With all the crazy things and lies you've said out of your mouths over the years, I actually believe that you've said these things.
and I can prove it. It makes sense that no great nation can be in a position where they can't control their borders. It matters how you control your borders. Not just for immigration, but it matters for drugs, terror, a whole range of other things. Here's the conclusion I'd come up with. And it's sort of in equal parts. We have to. We have to. And I had been arguing for, when I'm back in as my days as chairman of the Judiciary Committee, and straight through in the, as the leader of the Foreign Relations Committee, I've been arguing for the need to put more protection at our borders. See, there you have it, folks. He did say these things. He said these things a lot. That's all they do is say these things. But they say one thing and they do another. Hell, they absolve themselves from any responsibility or accountability for anything at all times. They never want to solve the problem. They actually don't. They only perpetuate it. They actually pretend the problem isn't a problem until they get back into a corner. So always remember, it's not about what they say, it's about what they do. Because the only thing they care about is your vote. And the only thing they'll ever care about is themselves. So, I'm Simple Son. I'll see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more. We have to earn the real act. And we have to communicate what we have achieved. Yes. And, and that is going to be one of our big challenges. We've done a lot of good work. We need to let people know who brung it to them. <laughs>